Both the England and Wales teams have drawn widespread criticism after the threat of a yellow card stopped their captains, Harry Kane and Gareth Bale, from wearing those One Love armbands in their opening matches. And that followed the threat by FIFA. Well, this decision has obviously been greeted with total dismay by LGBTQ plus campaigners who accuse FIFA and the FA of censorship. Joining us now is Scotland's first openly gay senior footballer, Xander Murray. I can't quite believe I'm saying that. The first openly gay. Which implies it must have been very, very hard for you to reach the decision to come out. What, what finally made you decide to do it? Good question. Good morning, all. Good morning. Um, yes, uh, it was a very difficult journey. Um, I noticed in Scotland that there was not a lot of role models for me personally and being inspired by Jake Daniels, Josh Carvel from afar, yep. I thought now's the time to do it. Right. And do you feel better for doing it? Oh, incredible. <laughs> do you know, I've yet to meet a gay person who, who doesn't feel so different for the better after coming out. Personally, yes, within myself. However, a big reason why I wanted to do it was to share my message and try and to inspire younger generations. And seeing that now in fruition is incredible and, yeah, overwhelming. Good. Yeah, good. Is it the case that football um, does not have a lot of gay men playing? Or is it the case that there are a lot of gay men playing, but they don't feel confident mm -hmm. enough to come out? Good question. <laughs> I would say elements of both. 100%. Um, and I just wanted to be a part of the change, be another pillar of this really, really strong community and really help current players, because I know how difficult it is. There will be gay players at the World Cup. Um, in fact, I know for a fact there is, and them having to hide their identity, hide who they truly are, hurts me to the core. Well, you would expect yeah. things to have improved dramatically, wouldn't you, uh, within the last 48 hours, when you've got the boss of FIFA telling us that he's gay? Um, and yet, interestingly, 24 hours after that, FIFA absolutely cracks down on any, any possibility of these armbands being worn. What's your take on all of that? Yeah, it's just, well, firstly, the, the President's comments about he's gay and because he had red hair, he was discriminated against. Um, does having red hair get you prison for seven years in a country? I don't know. And, and in regards to the, the armband, what is that meant to represent? That's meant to represent inclusivity in our sport. Um, it's to fight against discrimination of all kinds in our sport. Personally, I feel that's a direct attack on us as a community. Mm. Not just us, but, yep, the One Love armband is... that has roots in LGBTQ+. And, and it's, such a, it's such a small gesture. So, yeah. It's not marching across the pitch with a banner, is it? Or making a, grabbing the microphone from a commentator and making a speech. It's just an armband. Exactly. So how exactly. sensitive are they? Oh, and you can see from other fans wearing rainbow hats and they're not allowed into stadiums. It's just baffling, you know. The penalty would have been a yellow card, of course. That would have been the price that Harry yeah. Kane and Gareth Bale would have had to have paid. Can you understand why the FA decided they didn't want to take that decision? Yeah, or, would you, or do you criticise the FA for uh, standing down in the face of the threat from FIFA? Yeah, I mean, deeper than this, it's, it's FIFA's... FIFA's um, provided these sanctions on the players, so we really can't attack the players here. For getting a yellow card at a World Cup mm. knock, then it's a tournament that, mm. if you get a yellow card, a couple of games and that's your ban, mm. so it's but do you important. But do you think that the FA should have called FIFA's bluff? Because there are many people saying this morning that actually, had they done that, and had the armbands been worn, FIFA would have, would have had to back down because it would have completely screwed the game. True. Well, a counter-argument is Christian Eriksen, captain Denmark. He's saying he's, he's still going to wear the armband. Mm. So that might be a powerful message. And hopefully change their opinion. When's that game? I'm not sure. That's oh, a good okay. question, Richard. I don't know. <laughs> Can find out, please, when the Denmark game is. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Later it's this on morning, morning on, on ITV. ITV. So we'll find out later this morning. Okay. The, um, one of the reasons that uh, players don't feel confident about coming out, we're told, and you would know, mm -hmm. is the backlash from fans. I mean, we see um, that sometimes a small proportion of fans are pretty vicious towards black players, you know, as we saw in the Euros final. Uh -huh. um, but do you think that that is the reason that players don't want to be open or is there something more problematic about the structure of the game, the support within the game? Great question. So, yeah, personally, I can tell you that you're terrified of the backlash, um, the inner saboteur, and as I would call it in relation to how I feel, was the internalised homophobia that you feel everyone's going to attack you from the outside. Certainly from the UK, 
yeah, that was all in my head. There's, there's been not much trolls, if you like. Um, but, yeah, within that, you also need to work on yourself to truly accept yourself to sort of deal with these horrible insults and slurs, which takes a bit of time. But that's definitely a message that I want to convey to the public and why I want to do these interviews is to really support the younger generations mm. to begin that journey and accept yourself. Because that is the real, real important part. And it, and it, gives, you, it gives you the muscle to speak out. I mean, yeah. I, I noticed... I hadn't seen this, actually, but I noticed that after these ridiculous comments by the, uh, the World Cup ambassador, Qatar's World Cup ambassador, mm. who last week described being gay as, and I quote, damage of the mind, <sighs> because you're out, you were able to, to, to get on a platform and, and, and completely trash yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, the comments are just disgraceful. Uh, I can believe it when I, when I first heard it, I'll be, I'll be honest. I couldn't um, either. Okay. I just automatically thought of, right, it's great, for, well, not great, it's horrible, but it, imagine being an LGBTQ plus Qatari, yeah. being in Qatar, hearing that message, being a young footballer, hearing that message. I mean, it'd break your heart. Like, just, OK, that's someone, quite an important figure in my country, literally saying, I can't play football. Um, yeah, it, it really broke my heart. And I just wanted a, a sh there is a really strong for argument. I'm a Stonewall ambassador. I'm proudly supporting their proud stadium campaign. They're trying mm -hmm. to fill a virtual stadium of 80,000, which is the equivalent of the World Cup final. We've got to, I think, 45,000 signatures. So, mm -hmm. yeah, keep, keep the support up Can for I ask that. how old you are? 31, Richard. Uh, and if you hadn't been a professional footballer, but had a completely sort of private career, mm -hmm. how old would you have been when you came out, do you think? It would have been years earlier, wouldn't it? 100%. That's a good question. No one's ever asked that. Yeah, it would have been years earlier. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Well, well done, you. Thank you. Yeah. Really good to see you. Thank you very much. Who are you supporting? <laughs> good question. Um, <laughs> England and Wales. Yep. <laughs> yep. Right, so when England play <laughs> Wales, who are you supporting? Oh, put me on the spot. You're going to support Wales, aren't you? happen in a few days' time? Just say Wales, because oh, we know that's... I'll be a neutral. I'll be Switzerland. I'll, I'll just... Uh, yeah, I'll be a neutral. <laughs> just everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, great to see you. Thank good you good very much you. indeed. Thank you.